leucine is um, it's one of the branch chain amino acids, um, and it's 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 as well as being uh, sort of a building block. Um, for muscle protein, so it's one of the amino acids needed to synthesize a polypeptide, it appears to sort of act as a signal in the body to turn on the process of muscle protein synthesis. And it's unique. I'm not really sure why. I don't really know that we have the answer to that. Um, But other studies have shown that you can give uh, leucine alone. So you can give like crystalline leucine and it'll stimulate protein synthesis. Um, so it acts as a molecular signal to turn on protein synthesis through um, a protein called mTORC1, uh, or the mechanistic target of rapamycin. Um, so it, it turns on this protein, and this protein plays an important role in regulating cell size uh, through stimulating protein synthesis. Um, so somehow leucine is, is, the idea is that leucine is sensed and it, it turns on mTOR. Um, in order to help increase the rate of, of protein synthesis. Um, and so within the context of concurrent training, I mean, that's one of the reasons why uh, in, the, in the series of studies I mentioned, we looked at these different proteins that, again, have different um, contents of leucine in them. And so we sort of thought, um, again, largely based on what, what has been reported in the resistance training only literature, that whey protein, uh, partly because it's higher in leucine, might elicit a greater rise in protein synthesis, um, but we we didn't see that. So certainly, there's not like a perfect relationship between a protein's leucine content and the stimulation of protein synthesis. Um, leucine is one factor, but um, other essential amino acids are going to be important. 